Okay, so let's say I've got a, for, uh, for example, a friendship, and how would I, that I want to let go of. So how would I do, give some examples of doing the work around that? Well, usually, um, so the way I sort of see it, uh, and as, as sort of Hawkins has alluded to, is that um, all, all situations are for my maximum karmic growth. You know, so that no situation is, it, no relationship, uh, every relationship uh, is serving a purpose, a higher purpose of, of lessons. And it's like, um, usually the, the end of the relationship is when all the lessons are learned. You see, so there's, uh, so, hmm, what was it? Um, uh, so I'll try and give some examples uh, that I really got with uh, with kar karmic interactions from Hawkins, uh, and I'm trying to think of. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, it, it's a bit like um, so. People from past lives will come back to do onto you exactly what you've done to them, uh, and uh, you can sort of um, you can sort of. I, I talk about the anti karma prayer, um, and I just sort of the anti karma prayer is, dear God like I pray for forgiveness for the one in me uh, who has suffocated other, uh, who has uh, suffocated others in this life and others if I'm feeling being, I'm being suffocated by a person so it's, act, it's the mirror opposite my tensions in the relationship I can I, I, it's very very easy to see the exact karma it's like I want to let this person go because I feel like they're suffocating me or they're pain in the back or uh, I feel like I'm being trapped, or I'm not being allowed to, I'm not, uh, you know, so I assume intuitively that probably I did that to them or a similar person in this life to my past lifetime. So that, so to find out the beliefs or the, the karma that I need to clear is, is, is an intuitive thing. I just ask myself, you know, why am, why am I not ask, feeling absolutely free and not even thinking about them? Why is this even a problem? Why, they, why, the, why is even the thought of that person coming into this, this empty moment? So there's stuff there that I can clear. So let's say I want to let, let them go because um, I feel suffocated now. I mean, I, I'm, I'm evolving and I just feel suffocated with the type of interaction. So, so what's the thing I actually do? Well, you know, I could... Um, uh, I cancel my belief in suff suffocation and being subject only to what I hold in mind. Or, or I cancel my belief John is, is, is suffocating me. I mean, being subject only to God did not create a suffocating John. Let's say his name is John, is a generic name. Um, you know, I pray for forgiveness for the one in me uh, who suffocated others in this lifetime, others. Or I could even make it more specific if it resonates. I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who suffocated John in this lifetime, probably a past lifetime, that's why he's back, to give me a dose of my own medicine, because I did that to him or another person. So I'm just sort of clearing, I'm clearing the thing, well, you know, for me it's like he's going to stick around until I've cleared my karmic debt, I've cleared the beliefs in that situation, I've passed all the lessons, otherwise he's going to hang around either in my head or keep, you know, bugging me until, you know, um, Everything's been transcended. All the lessons have been learned. I've cleared all the uh, the karmic debts that he feels he, he has on me. So, so I'm just chopping those things because I can intuitively, psychically get them. So that's that, that's the now I could I mean that's one way of doing it. That's the way I do it. I'm, I'm trying to put in the course prayers or the anti karma prayer. But I like the anti karma prayer and the cancelling of beliefs. Well, God did not create it as my favorite because. I like those ones specifically rather than the other course lesson because I want it to disappear. I want the bonds to vanish into the light. So, I, you know, rather than for him to continue to exist so that he doesn't even exist in my head. Usually when that happens, like it's, there's no existence there of the person, uh, it is resolved in my experience. It's always resolved because it's like you've cleared absolutely everything. And, uh, and my experience is you actually cleared the bonds in him that will pull you back. He just leaves you alone. It's only if there's still some kind of like hooks in my own consciousness to that person that they'll sort of linger around. So that's that's one of the ways I do it. Um, 
Uh, yeah, that, that's the way I do. I mean, also, I mean, I do step tens every day, and they would. He would. I also would try to cut the bonds with him. I'm resentful. I'm fearful. Uh, you know, I hope he. I hope he just leaves without bugging me. So um, I'll do it that way. Also, um, there's good works helping others. One sees that tends to keep them away. Um, and. Uh, um, If there's a, a general thing, which I picked up from Hawkins, which most people in 12 Steps intuitively know, uh, to clear your karma in another aspect, like let's, I mean, it's just, a, it's just a spiritual principle. If you help people in the area that you're suffering from, it clears the karma faster. So let's say, like, uh, uh, I'm just going to give a stupid example, but people in 12 Steps know this. It's like, Okay, let's say I can't, I can't, you know, I'm finding it hard to let go of donuts or a type of person. But there, there is a very powerful spiritual way of getting rid of donuts. Clearing my bondage, my beliefs around that is helping someone else get free of donuts. So just see what is the wound, uh, what is it, what is the, um, what is the contract, what is the baggage that I have with this person. And if I don't want to do the spiritual work in that way, I could try and help another person be free who's got that problem. I don't know, let's say, uh, I'm trying to think of an example, what, what are the typical things? Let's say I'm with someone uh, who's, who likes being negative all the time. Every time we speak to them, they're just 100% negative. So, God, how, how can I let this go? You know, the universe is not letting me get out of this relationship. But one way is like, you, uh, the universe may bump into my path someone who's trying to get out of a, a relationship with a negative person. I just can't get rid of this negative person. I don't know what to do. They're always tough pulling me back in. And then you try and help them. You know, well, let, I'll, I'll, let's talk about step one. Let's do some inventory. Let's sh share some prayers and experience with you. I'm going to help you every day. And, and as you're helping them get rid of this person, you probably find that that person will automatically just drift away because your level of consciousness will drift. It's just a spiritual principle. It's very, very powerful in letting something go, is to help another person with the same problem, help them let it go. And usually, you know, the, it will, the universe will, is then like, you know, on your side to clear the stuff rapidly.